Hi, today we're going to talk about the different categories of crimes that can be committed and the punishments that go along with them. So there's three major crimes that can happen, okay? The first crime is an infraction. Um, infractions are violations of a rule or law that's not punishable by prison. So these are crimes that are going to happen that you can get um, usually just a fine for is the punishment. Uh, super small crimes, jaywalking, traffic violations, littering, things like that. So a speeding ticket, um, parking in a meter, littering, those types of things, those are um, infractions. So they're very um, small. They're still violations of a rule or law, but you can't go to prison for them. Okay. And the, the punishment is usually a small fine, usually less than $250. The second crime that can be committed is what we call a misdemeanor. A misdemeanor is a minor crime. It's less than a felony, so it's, it's bigger than an infraction, but it's less than a felony. Examples include theft, minor assault, think like getting in a fight at school, something like that, um, possession of illegal drugs, small amounts of illegal drugs, and that's sort of dependent on the state. Um, some states it's a felony, some states it's um uh, a misdemeanor. First offense, drunk driving, vandalism, different things like that. So misdemeanors are going to be um, crimes that are, the punishment is less than one year in jail. Okay, so six months, nine months in jail, things like that. Uh, usually a fine, anywhere between $250 to $2,500, and it most often comes with community service. Okay, so students, um, vandalize the school, they get caught, right? Usually they're going to get a fine and community service. Uh, first offense, drunk driving. Usually you're going to get community service and there's going to be some type of punishment that comes with it. Theft, different things like that, okay? So this is going to be like your small scale crimes, still big enough to have a good punishment, potential for jail time, but not a lot of it. And your third crime category is a felony. Okay, felonies are serious or what we consider major crimes. Examples of felonies, murder, rape, armed robbery, so robbery with a weapon, um, serious assault, dealing illegal drugs, fraud, auto theft, forgery, arson, which is purposely setting fires. All of those are considered felonies, okay? And the punishment for a felony is prison up to um, five years to life. So usually you will get prison time for the sentence, um, not jail time. So the jail time is usually like a city jail. Sometimes they go in and out. Prison would be like a ma like you would go to prison, you would stay there all the time. Um, anywhere five years to life, the death penalty in certain cases, in certain situations, um, not always, but in certain situations, and fines up to $100,000. And most of the time felonies come with a probational period. Okay, so instead of community service, it's a probation period where you have to Show that you can behave and not commit any other crimes for a certain period of time after you're released from prison, okay? So the three major crime categories goes from least to greatest, right? Your infraction being kind of the smallest violation of a rule or law all the way up to a felony, which would be your major or serious charges. Um, the major crime category, so these are all going to be um, felony charges. Okay, so these are all going to be felonies, but within the felony category are the major crime categories, and these just kind of are um, like groupings of crimes that you could be charged with. So like a violent crime, for example, if you look over here, violent crimes would be considered murder, threat, rape, um, property crimes, those are going to be stealing, trespassing, arson, those would be property crimes like anything that happens. Um, on some type of property. Crimes against morality, prostitution, kidnapping. Prostitution is a felony charge, okay? Kidnapping. Um, pri crime against public order, disorderly conduct, right? You do something really crazy and they can charge you with a felony. Um, uh, disorderliness would be like to an extreme extent. Um, you went streaking through a Cardinals game or something crazy like that, right? Crime against the government, rebellion or treason, okay, is an example of a major crime category. Crime by the government, genocide, torture, 
they would charge you, obviously, with felony crime. Um, hate crimes, bias, prejudice, uh, organized crime. This is dealing of illegal goods. Um, think like uh, drug rings and different things like that. That would be organized crime. Like think the mob, right, or the mafia or things like that. Um, white collar crimes, deception or gouging. Um, these kind of usually go with occupational crimes like opportunism. Um, think like when all the Wall Street guys got in trouble for like skimming money off the top of people's retirements and different types of things like that. That's kind of examples of what those are. Uh, victimless crime is um, addiction, illegal exchange. So if a crime happens because somebody is, say, addicted to a drug and they do something on the drug, um, they do something maybe to harm themselves or to harm somebody else, but they were on the drug at the time. Um, that's what they usually mean by um, a victimless crime. Maybe where a crime happens, but there wasn't the, it was like the person who committed the crime was also kind of the victim. That's usually what they're talking about with that. And then high technology crime, fraud, blackmail. This is going to be all of your um, online dealings, right? People scamming credit cards and different things like that, okay? So these are just like the major crime categories. If you were to be charged with a felony, they would fit in one of these groups depending on what type of rule or law that you were breaking at the time, okay? And then take a look at these. We're going to talk about these um, in class when we um, go over our notes, but I just wanted you to kind of see them um, and decide right now what you think. So here's the three um, types of crimes, infractions, misdemeanors, and felonies. And then here's some examples. A student is found selling weed on campus, students tag the gym doors, so on and so forth. So read through these and just put an I, an M, or an F next to each one. Is it an infraction? Is it a misdemeanor? Is it a felony? Um, just kind of in your brain, have that thought process ready to go. And then when we get to class, we'll talk more about these.